Aloha gang. We got parts for y'all. Packages have been coming in lately, mainly for the GTI build. Still got things coming in, so the kit isn't really complete. But we are gonna start the build next week. We're just waiting on the block to get back from the shop and we'll get started. So let's check out what we have so far. As you know, the GTI is getting a Garrett GT2871. First thing we got is a fully rebuilt head, all new internals. We got it off of Craigslist. It's an AUG head from one of the Audi 1.8Ts. Along with it, we got a full set of gaskets. Now the whole turbo setup is for an external wastegate. Here we got an eBay Godspeed 38 millimeter wastegate with the two bolt flange. For our fuel, we got 630cc semen injectors. To pair with these, we got a 630cc Unitronic Big Turbo ECU with a 3 inch VR6 MAF housing. If everything runs perfect, we'll stick to Unitronic. If not, then we do have the backup Eurodyne software. A small transmission upgrade, we got a reinforced clutch release fork. I don't know if you guys remember, far back in one of my videos with the GTI, there was a rattling coming from the engine. <coughs> After pulling the motor, we found that the clutch fork was actually the culprit. It was loose and it was just banging around in the trans case. Side by side comparison with the stock one. We got steel plates welded on to give it a stronger structure. Now onto the packages. First we got one from CTS Turbo. This is some of the hardware for our turbo setup. We got a four bolt, three inch downpipe with the external wastegate rerouted to the exhaust. And we got a cast iron T3 top mount manifold with the 38 millimeter external wastegate port. Same two bolt flange. Next package is from Euro Tuning. Here we got our internals. Total cost for the rods, rings, and bearings, $611.97. Look at that shipping. Bruh. We could have spent that $200 on other parts, but no. So we got the H-beam rods from Integrated Engineering. Complete with ARP bolts and the rod caps. These rods are the non-rifle drilled version. If you take a look at the rod, you'll see that there is no hole in the middle. But for the stroker motor, we'll probably get the rifle drilled rods. We got a set of calico coated connecting rod race bearings. Last but not least, we got a set of Grant 81 millimeter piston rings. All right. That's all the packages for today. When the next batch comes in, we'll unbox them. Anyways, like I said before, the block is at the shop right now getting honed. So when it does come in, we can start putting together the internals and start bolting them in. So stay tuned guys, we got ring gapping and checking bearing clearances coming up next. Mahalo for watching, see you guys soon.